All right, friends, back to our story about Ben and Dara. Now, we are starting this story about these two. So it was show and tell time, and Ben brought his very special seashell to class, okay? He was so excited to tell everybody about his special shell, but he started to, <gasps> oh, excuse me. He started to get the, <gasps> the hiccups, right? So someone started laughing immediately at Ben and he felt embarrassed. He went and sat down without telling the class all the things that he wanted to say about his special shell. So Ben's friend, Dara, she came over to see him. How do you think Ben feels about getting laughed at because he had the hiccups? How would you feel if you were really embarrassed? What would you do? What would you feel inside your body? Well, Ben is so embarrassed and sad. He's looking down. His body is slouched. He's not sitting straight. He's like, oh. and you know the situation. So if you think Ben is sad or embarrassed, you're right. And sometimes we feel this way when something happens to us. Now, I want you to think about what Dara could say to Ben to show that she cares for him. Hmm, what could she say to show Ben that she cares about how he feels? Well, she could tell him, hey Ben, tell me more about your special shell. I wanna hear. Or she could tell him, I'm sorry that somebody laughed at you, Ben. It's okay. So Dara, she listens to Ben and he tells her more about his special shell. Listening, my friends, is one way to show that you care. And so she does that to show that she cares for Ben. Another way to show that we care is saying kind words. Have you said anything kind to anybody today? I hope you do. How about offering to help? Maybe there's something she could do to help Ben. If she does that, that is a good way to show Ben that she cares. And when people show us that they care, it makes us feel happy. It makes us feel glad and relieved. I love when people show me that they care for me. How about you? Showing care and concern for someone is called compassion. And compassion is empathy in action. So my friends, there's ways that we could show our care and concern and compassion. Things that we can do are listen to others. We can also say kind words and help because our words and actions can make a difference when friends are upset. And it also makes our school more fun, our life more fun, our home more fun when we care about how each person feels. So I really hope that you practice showing compassion for somebody. All right. Great job, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.